During the course of the game, you get the opportunity to specialize. Now, this is done through the National Idea System. And this system allows you to focus on specific aspects of the game, whether it be trade, military might, diplomacy, expansion, etc. In this scenario, we're playing as England, it is 1470, we've just annexed Scotland, and it's time for us to start specializing. Let's head over towards the Idea tab to see what we can do. As we navigate through the Idea screen, we see that we have a slot open, a slot we can use to add our first Idea group. As we click on the panel, the following screen opens up, giving us 15 options, 5 of each type of monarch points, administrative, diplomatic, and military. Now the decision you are about to make is going to be one of the most profound ones in the game, and is going to change the way how you run your nation throughout it. Each idea group has 7 ideas, each giving different bonuses. For instance, if you hover over diplomatic ideas, we see that the first level gives us an extra diplomat, whilst colonial ventures gives us our first colonist. Now, you're wondering how does this steer our development? Well, each idea costs monarch points. For instance, if we would take something from diplomatic ideas, then those ideas would cost us diplomatic points. Points that we then have to budget in other categories, such as integrating areas into our dominion, and which would then be harder. Same goes for technology. Right now, we're going for diplomatic ideas as we want to strengthen our position in Europe. And later, we may go into the new world to create some colonies. Let's enact our first idea and get a new diplomat. Remember to choose your first idea wisely. Now let's talk about national ideas. As we choose our first idea, we see that the status bar for our national ideas just increase. For every idea you choose, you get additional points added to your national ideas give you extra bonuses for every idea you pick. In this case, England has English ideas, which will give you a better navy, better diplomacy, and reduce the revolt risk. If you decide to run your idea groups parallel to your national ideas, you can become a force to be reckoned with within its relevant categories. This wraps up the ideas tutorial. Good luck choosing your position in history.